But I guess the only overwhelming thing is sometimes when um, you have like all your schoolwork and trying to prioritize that. So it's more like trying to manage self-care as well. Because as an RA, you're always there for the residents, but sometimes you have to take a step back and think about yourself sometimes. So um, I'm an RA in Snow Hall South Campus, and I started, I'm right now I'm a senior in my third year because I started as a sophomore. So I've been an RA since last spring, so nearing almost a year now at Worth Tower in the H2O Learning Community, so on the fifth floor. Yes? Yes. I do know my RA. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're actually really close. We're in like a club together, so. I mean, I don't really talk to them a lot, and they don't really talk to them a lot, but they're just really like welcoming and happy and amazing. Who gave me a Reese's today? Well, the only contact I've ever had with my RA is through email, where they asked about, at towards the beginning of the semester, about my goals and what I wanted to do. And just recently, they sent a follow-up email asking how the semester is going. Um, positively, she's really optimistic and enthusiastic, and she's always like putting posters up and encouraging us to work hard um, and be involved. I think I probably asked like why they wanted to be an RA. So I think like some people want to do it to like, help out students, but other times they want to do it for like the benefits that they get. I applied freshman year um, mostly because I think one of the RAs and the and like luckily it should be like a resident hall where I was living with freshman year. Um, like they said that I should, uh, they filled out one of those forms that said, uh, uh, they kind of like suggested that I be an RA. So I got like an email saying like, oh, like an RA suggested that you should be an RA. So I started thinking about it and also like a lot like to save money too. I was like. So for the most part, my classes start around 9.30 or 10 o'clock. So I wake up about two and two and a half hours early. Um, go wait in the omelet line because that line is very long. That takes at least 20 minutes to get one omelet. Um, then I study a little bit before, um, usually biochem here and there. Then I go to my classes and I come back at the end of the day. Usually I'm done around 5.36. Um, then I go do my homework or anything. I always interact with my residents because I see them often, whether it be in the study lounge or anything like that. Um, Whenever it comes time to like resident conversations, I always check my emails, always make sure I prioritize all that thing, all those things, um, but yeah. Um, not necessarily, so the hall directors are super flexible and lenient. They understand that we're students first, so for example, my bulletin board that needed to be done, I was able to get an extension for that so I can have time to study for my exam. Uh, sometimes it can get a little hectic, but it's just a matter of prioritizing everything. Well, I've always taken on like a pretty really high load. I feel like this is starting to like spread uh, pretty, not pretty thin. I probably I'm like I'm in the closest to being spread like, way too thin that I've ever been. So like I feel like if I took on like another responsibility, I'd probably like shatter the pieces because like I'm doing so much things. But um, I know like when I first going to RA and like they said that the department says a lot that like, it should be like your first like extracurricular thing after like becoming a student. And for the most part, I made sure to always be mindful of that, mindful of like, okay, it was a conscious decision for me to be an RA. Well, I can't necessarily get into any details, but I haven't gotten into any, um, like, really serious incidents. That, uh, hopefully, thank God, actually, and I hopefully never will have to. I mean, I can't necessarily talk specifics about them, but uh, things I have to deal with, just like, like, noise, like, things that I know I personally have had to deal with. I've actually been probably pretty lucky in the fact that I haven't had to deal with two crazy situations other than noise warnings, I think, maybe like one alcohol-related incident. Um, I had to deal with a bias-related incident. Uh, um, well, I mean, I think, yeah, like how people uh, think of RA is definitely impacts the job because it impacts like um, if people just only see you as like, an enforcer or someone who's just like 
always gonna yell at them, then it's gonna be harder to make sure that they know it, that they know. It's gonna be harder for me to convey to them that I am also a resource for them. A lot of big part of the job is trying to find that in between of like being the enforcer of rules and like safety things so that every, like we have a very comfortable and inclusive living environment and a living community for every single student that comes back from like classes and the hard-deaf classes and stuff like that. And also between um, that and also making sure that they know like we are a resource. Like if you can come to us, we'll steer problems. That's always been a hard thing um, every year. Cause like, of course students have like, um, yeah, there's also a stigma about RAs just being like saying they quote unquote narcs or like maybe police officer quote unquote, police officers are like the floor. We all sort of resource. Like we're here to listen and like anything that we do, like in terms of like enforcement, is so that like everyone feels comfortable on our floor. Like we have to like give people noise warnings, uh, give people like say IRs for certain noise warnings. If like that's gonna be intrusive to other people and how they sleep and stuff like that. So I'd probably just tell them like each part of our job, even if it is more enforcement based, is for like a reason of like making sure it's an inclusive and comfortable environment for everyone. Well, I think the way that I portray myself to my residents doesn't make me seem like the police. I mean, other residents that don't know me, every time they see you in the hallway, it's like, oh, it's the RA, because like, you wear a like, giant uniform that says RA in the back and you have your name tag. Um, but I try to portray myself to my residents that I'm a friend, not necessarily just the RA that will get them in trouble because I'm there for them. Um, so I wanted to like, let residents know, or the people in general, that RAs are students, or people too. Um, one impact that I had was my resident, I met him like in the hallway somewhere, and he was like, oh, how is everything going? And I feel like you always ask us, but we never ask you. So that really touched me. So I think it's nice for, even though RAs are there for the residents and trying to make sure that like, residents are doing okay, it'd be nice if residents could do like a little extra step and like see how their RA is doing sometimes.